In this question, we're given a function of x. So our function of x is x squared add 5x subtract 2 sec x. Uh, x is a real number and x must be between negative pi by 2 and pi by 2. Show that the equation f of x is 0 has a root in the interval 1 to 1.5. So what we're going to have to do here is show that there is a change of sign in between 1 and 1.5. So for part A, the first thing to probably do is to rewrite this, um, but with a cos in it, because um, there's no sec button on our calculator. So firstly write that f of x is equal to x squared add 5x subtract 2 divided by cosine of x, because um, this is 2 sec x here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work out f of 1, we're going to work out f of 1.5, and there will be a change of sign. Given that this graph is continuous, then there will be a root in between the two. Okay, so we get our calculator out, and I'm going to type in algebraically, I'm going to say x squared add 5x subtract 2 over cosine of x, don't forget to close that bracket there in the cosine of x, and I'm going to calculate that at uh, x is 1. Now make sure your calculator is in radians mode, that is vital. So when x is 1, this is 2.298. So 2.298. And the beauty of doing it this way, I can just press calc again and do 1.5 for x and get negative 18.52. So negative 18.52. And then you have to stay, um, f is continuous f continuous, change of sign, therefore f has a root uh, between 1 and 1.5. And we've done the first part. Next it says a more accurate um, estimate of the root is found of so of solving f of x is zero. So a more accurate e estimate is used by doing the following it iterations. X n plus one is r cos g of x n minus one, and it says find a suitable form of g of x um, and use this formula with x zero is one point two five to x to find x one, x two, x three, x four. Give the value of x four to three decimal places. Now the formula we remember what we're doing here. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is we're solving f of x is equal to 0. So what we're solving is we're solving x squared add 5x subtract 2 over cosine of x is equal to 0. That's the thing we're trying to find the root of, okay? And it's we're told that there's a good way of solving it where x equals r cos of g of x that type of form, i.e. now our cos means the inverse cos, so where x is equal to the inverse cos of some function of x. So what that's making me think, it's making me think, looking at what I'm trying to solve, it's making me think, let's make cosine x the subject of this formula, and then inverse co cosine both sides to get this x as the subject of the formula. So I'm going to try and get this x here as the subject of the formula. That way, I would have cos uh, inverse cosine of some other function of x. So that's what I'm thinking, and that's how I'm going to proceed in this question. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2 over cosine x to both sides. So I'm going to have x squared add 5x is equal to 2 divided by the cosine of x. Okay, now what I could do is uh, an operation that's fair. That's basically x squared add 5x divided by 1. And what I could do is I could flip both sides of these. I could in, inverse, like take the uh, reciprocal of both sides of these. So what I could then say is that therefore cosine of x divided by 2 would be equal to 1 divided by uh, x squared add 5x. There's no harm in that operation. Then multiply both sides by 2. So cosine of x is equal to 2 divided by x squared add 5x. And lastly, take the inverse cosine of both sides. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that x is therefore the inverse cosine of 2 over x squared add 5x. So x is equal to inverse cosine 2 over x squared add 5x. Now that is of the form that we were asked for in the question. x is the subject of the formula. We have an inverse cos and then we have some function of x. So I found this g of x here. 
And then I'm going to do exactly what they told me to do. I'm going to say that's n plus 1, and that's n there. And they wanted me to start off with x0 is equal to 1.25, so 1.25. Okay, so what you do, get the calculator out. Calculator comes out. And then you press 1.25 equals. That stores it as an answer. Uh, answer button on your calculator and now we're going to type this uh, function here so the inverse cos of a fraction and two's on the top and we have uh, xn squared so I'm going to have answer squared plus five times answer plus five multiplied by answer I'm going to close that bracket so press equals that gives me my first answer so they what do they want let's just check the decimal places they wanted it um, to three decimal places x4. So I'm going to write everything out for each one up to that. So we have the x1 is 1.3119. So x1 equals 1.3119142931493. Then I can press equals again, the beauty of this method, and I get my next one. So x2 is 1.326. x2 equals 1.326. 858484 858484 and take the calculator again and work at x3 x3 pressing equals one more time 1.3302 so 1.3302 at 41579 41579 and they wanted x3 uh, they wanted all the way up to x4 actually so one more press equals again 1.330996, so x4 equals 1.3306916, so that should be a 99616. And they wanted x4 to three decimal places, so it'd be 1.331 to three decimal places, rounding at that point there. Okay, so we've given our answer to three decimal places and we're done. Okay, so for the last part, now this is uh, where students fall down and get tricked. The curve y equals f of x, so this curve, has a stationary point at p. Has a stationary point at p. That means at the stationary point, f dash x equals 0. Show that the x coordinate of p correct to, is this, correct to five significant figures. Now what we're solving here is f dash x is zero. It's very, very important. You don't confuse this with solving the thing we were solving above, f of x is zero. This is to find a stationary point, f dash x is zero. So if our f of x, the first thing we've obviously got to do, our f of x is this formula here, x squared add five x subtract two sec x. So x squared add five x subtract two uh, sec x like this. Okay, so we've got to find what f dash x is the first differential. Well, differentiate x squared, you get 2x. Differentiate 5x, you get 5. And then don't worry so much about the negative 2 for now. Just think about what happens if you differentiate sec. Well, this is in the formula booklet. It tells you in the formula booklet that if you differentiate sec x, the differential of sec x is sec x tan x. Okay, so therefore this would be negative 2 sec x tan x which if we rewrite with the with the functions we have in our calculator it would be 2x add 5 subtract 2 tan x divided by uh, cos x like that okay so we could rewrite it like that now if we're trying to show it's got a root of 1.0535 so 1.0535 what we need to do is check this upper bound so 1.05355 and check this lower bound here, 1.05345. Substitute those into f dash x and show that there's a change of sign around zero. So what we're going to work out is f dashed here of 1.05345 and we're going to work out f dashed of 1.05345. Five five. Show that there's a change of sign, therefore show f dashed has a root uh, between these two points, i.e. this is the value of the stationary point to this significant figures. So get your calculator out. Let's type this formula in. So we've got 2x add 5 
takeaway fraction 2 tan uh, x divided by cosine of x like that and we're going to substitute in 1.05345 and we're going to get this answer here which is 0 0.00046 so 0 0.00046 and then let's substitute in 1.05355 and you get a negative answer negative 0.0022 negative 0.0022 and therefore you can state therefore since f dashed x is continuous we must state that and there is a change of sign in the uh, between 1.05345 and 1.05355 then 1.0535 is a stationary point And what was it? To, what was the? It was to five correct to five significant figures. Correct to five significant figures. And we're done.